Watch before buying Oribi. Oribi Review 2021. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Oribi and we'll figure out that why you need to rethink before buying Oribi or whether Oribi is a good option for you or not. When it comes to Oribi, Oribi has a lot of cool features but there are many cons to it as well. So we will figure out that Oribi is a good platform for you or not. So let's get started. Now we know that Oribi is actually a web analytics where you actually get an insight of your market and you do conversations or you can actually get a review of your website and you do analytics for your website or your business that you're running online. And Oribi is kind of like a good platform. Many people actually use Oribi. And if you do not have an idea about Oribi or how it works, then we can just, you know, compare it to Google Analytics and you will get an idea that how these two platforms are actually similar because they both are, of course, web analytics so that's how actually Arabi works so if we talk about the pros of Arabi just to you know give you an overview very good platform it is very easy to use and it actually gives you a good insight to your business or your marketplace but there are many cons to it as well and the biggest con that you will hear from anyone and that is the Arabi pricing so let's go to pricing for oribi and let me show you around that how oribi actually you know kind of gives you a hard time when it comes to the pricing plans so when you go to pricing they actually ask you that what kind of business you have either you have a business website e-commerce shop or marketing agency so let's go with i will actually you know show you all of this so let's go to business website first and we'll see the what are the pricing for business website if we're going to do analytics for this one so you can see right here that this is the pricing for business website and they're saying that if i have more than 10k visitors then it's gonna be 630 dollars milled annually if we go for monthly, hey, so if I go monthly, it's going to be $945 per month if I have more than 10k visitors. That's a lot, guys. I mean, check this out. Like, even if you are earning, like, when you have 10k visitors, maybe you're earning 3k. From that 3k, you are giving away almost 1k to the Oribi for just the analytics and when it comes to you know this pricing you might think that you know what it's okay because we have 10k visitors so the analytics will take you know time and we need to get an insight so 900 is nothing but there are other platforms out there that actually help you get analyzed and you know get the analytics in just you know less than $300 so why we pay so much and when your actually visitors increase the pricing increase as well so of course there comes a point where you'll be getting 200k visitors and we're not getting that much so let's just say that you have 2000 visitors per month for 2000 visitors you're going to pay 500 dollars that's a lot guys that's honestly a lot and what happens is that we don't want that of course in the pricing you will see all of these different plans that are included for example you can track up to three domains channel analysis six month data history automated even capturing visitor journey and webinar access custom reports and stuff like that good features but again the pricing is too much and even for as a beginner it will be you know over the board to use Oribi because you know as a beginner you're not making that much and you're just you know exploring and everything so it will become really hard so this is for the business website and you can see right here this is the pricing now we'll go to e-commerce shop now you have a e-commerce shop and for e-commerce shop of course the billing is a little different for 10 10k visitors you're going to pay 500 that's good but if we just you know decrease it to maybe 5000 then it's gonna be 400 but now it's just the visitors for example on our e-commerce business we actually get visitors a lot so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get 5000 visitors in website business you were actually you know getting paid for the visitors on your e-commerce business, you're going to get paid when the people will buy the product. So let's just say 5,000 people visited. Out of those, 
2000 maybe bought your product or maybe 3000 4000 bought your product and you make i'll just say maybe you make up to 3000 or 4000 let's just say you made 5000 if you go to monthly okay this was annually so if we go to monthly you will be paying six hundred dollars for the five thousand visitors so that's a lot again the pricing for Aribi not helping at all and this is actually the biggest drawback for Aribi and this is why you need to rethink when it comes to the pricing plan you need to you know check all of your other income sources you need to check that what is your revenue how much you are making and if you are willing to pay this much money to Aribi to you know do the analytics now I am at the marketing agency and if we go monthly now for the marketing agency it's completely different it's out of the board what happens here is it is actually depends on the number of clients if you have one client you will have to pay one thousand dollars for it that's actually insane guys that's actually insane now on marketing agency of course a client is going to pay you a good amount because when it comes to marketing agency there are many other things that we need to do as well it's not just the analytics it's not just the you know getting the data history or stuff like that there are other factors as well and we will be using other integrations as well so we're using Aribi and Aribi is taking the thousand dollar from our revenue from our income that just does not make sense at all so what happens is if I get for example let's just say somebody had two clients then they're going to actually pay much more than this so it's insane guys but you can see right here again the features it offers the features are pretty good but the pricing does not cooperate because even if you are offering this much features you need to you know consider the pricing for people and it should be reasonable and that's the biggest drawback for Arabi. this is why you need to rethink before buying Aribi. So uh, let's go to the products now and let's go to the features of Aribi and let me show you around that what are the different features Aribi actually offers and we'll figure this out then. Okay, you can see right here that insights and trends, you can actually get an insight to the trends as well. That's a good feature actually. Event tracking, no developers required. That's actually a very good thing that no developers are required when it comes to the event tracking. Then of course, Aribi will help you track and compare multiple campaigns define your conversation goals no maintenance that's a good feature and again when it comes to the funnel correlations and more uncover where you lose prospects even across domains real which event drives conversations that's actually pretty good the features oribi has are actually good features so let's you know compare oribi can actually you know get an idea that how oribi and other platform actually you know work and what are other cones of of Aribi. So you can see right here the other cones will take some time to set up. That's actually very true. Aribi takes a lot of time to set up. Expensive for beginners. That's what we talked about. Better pricing option needed to SMB. So that's the cones for Aribi. If we compare it to Google Analytics, Google Analytics is actually much cheaper than Aribi. And when it comes to, you know, different features and when it comes to the reviews, you will actually see that most of the people will actually mention that Aribi has, you know, is not beginners friendly because it's not beginners friendly in the pricing but when it comes to the usage i have noticed that it's not that hard to use that's actually a good thing about oribi so you can see that if we compare it to google analytics because google analytics is the kind of web analysis that everybody kind of uses so what happens is you can actually get individual tracking in both of these then multiple dimensions you get multiple dimensions in oribi that's pretty good and when it comes to correlations and ruby funnels uncover where you lose prospects reveal which event drives conversations never miss anything with Aribi's insights that's kind of like what they're saying as a whole we can say that Aribi is a good platform but before buying any plan for Aribi you will need to rethink about your revenue you will need to rethink about your budget and then make a decision that if you have that much budget you can actually pay for Aribi then I think it's a very good platform for you to use. And the sign-up process is actually free. You can see right here. And there are actually a lot of other integrations as well that you can actually integrate to your Aribi. 
so uh, that's actually pretty good so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to check out all these features of oribi and you will think before buying oribi and consider your revenue and your budget make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel